الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحبة in our discussion about the modesty the various types of modesty as Sheikh Islam Ibn Al-Qayyim mentioned رحمه الله تعالى we reached the seventh type of modesty where he said the modesty of love this is the modesty of the one who loves uh, who loves someone and when he thinks in his heart of the one he loves during his absence his modesty for him is greater than what he feels for him in his presence and he doesn't even know why this is no doubt that the love of a person has a stronger and more magnificent authority over the individual than the authority of the one who conquers the body physically. And because of this kings and elite authority wonder in amazement about creation and how they are conquered because of the love they have for someone greater than they are conquered by power and physical authority. We asked Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala about this issue and I mentioned this to him and he just smiled and didn't say anything. So this is ayu al habba the modesty of love. Then Ibn al-Qayyum mentioned the eighth type of modesty. The eighth, the modesty of servitude. This is the type of modesty that is mixed with love and fear while witnessing that there is no perfection in his worship or servitude to the one he worships. And the slave acknowledges that his Lord is greater and more opulent than what he is offering of worship. So his servitude to Allah causes him to be modest of him, and there is no way around this. So this is the modesty, ayu al habba and this is the modesty of servitude. And it is similar to the modesty as Ibn al-Qayyum had mentioned, rahimahullah ta'ala, of the modesty of uh, ineptitude or feeling inept or feeling the, your own shortcomings. And this is the modesty of servitude to your Lord, that you feel modest and shy out of servitude, being a slave before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the way, ayu al habba that we reach a high level of ibadah and we reach and we... Uh, realize or not realize but in fact we imp begin to implement the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is to worship him alone ayul habba let's listen to the hadith of Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiyallahu ta'ala anhu where the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was uh, on a donkey with Mu'adh radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and he said ya Mu'adh tadri ha ma haqallah al ibadi wa uh, uh, so he said, O oh, Mu'adh, do you know what the right of, uh, of the slaves, uh, the right of Allah over his slave is? And do you know what the rights of the slaves are over Allah? And he said, Allah wa Rasulu a'lam. He said, Allah and his messenger know best. He said, Haqqallah al ibadi and Haqqallah ala ibadi and ya'buduhu wa la tushriku bihi shay. Wa la yushriku bihi shay. Then the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, The right of the servant, the right of Allah, is that you is that the, the servant worships him alone and does not associate any partners with him. And the right of the uh, slave over Allah, and only Allah gives this right. No one can force uh, this to, to this right to be uh, given to them. But the right of the slave over Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as given by Allah is that he does not, uh, that Allah will not enter him, uh, Allah will enter him into paradise if he does not worship, if he only worships him and him alone. So ayu ala habba, modesty should lead us to worship Allah and give him his right. And this is the modesty that we want to try to achieve. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with that. And grant us ilm nafiyah wa rizqin tayyibu wa amal al Anything I said that was correct 
was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.